Corporal Dennis Peanuts DDA served more than three decades in the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. On Monday, March 2, 2020, members of all ranks of the law enforcement agency, as well as the SDA Church, turned out in large numbers to say farewell to the People's Cop, who was renowned for his community work. Corporal Didier was accorded a full military funeral. His brother, who eulogized the veteran police officer, revealed that the man, affectionately known as Peanuts, got the nickname during his formative years at school. The name Peanut became so popular up to the point of his death that he would ask anybody who's Dennis Didier or do you know Dennis Didier? And nobody can tell you who's Dennis Didier. But just ask the question, do you know Peanuts? And everybody will say, of course, who doesn't know Peanuts? Affable and winsome, Peanuts, according to his niece, ex-assistant commissioner of police, Frances Henry, will be remembered for his work in helping to build ties with members of the communities. Not only were we colleagues, but we were actually family. Um, it was a well-guarded secret that um, even throughout our professional life that very few people knew the connection. However, today is just basically celebrating him and all of the tributes in the church today were glowing and it actually spoke to Peanuts. The Peanuts was the people's person and of course um, all of his postings as had been highlighted had been um, in community work. Very few people might have known, but when the Marshall Police Station was commissioned, the ethos then was for the police force to move into the direction of community policing. Henry says, Peanuts was instrumental in shaping the lives of many troubled youth for whom he worked closely. She says he had a passion for public service. Who better could to have led that charge but Corporal Didier? It was under his stewardship that a lot of our police officers who initially were resistant to um, community policing because having seen it as being soft on crime, it was because of his jovial attitude, being the people's person, the kid who never grew up, the one who understand deprivation. And this is why we saw Peanuts being able to reach children from all walks of life. And it was not just children, because he saw children not of other families, but every child belonged to Peanut. While he had no children of his own, he actually could be considered maybe like the father of the nation as well when it came to particularly troubled youths. The former top cop says the veteran lawman epitomized hope in his work with the downtrodden. And that was what Peanuts was all about. It was just pure love. So the nation has lost a great son. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force did lose somebody that meant a lot. And one of the things that speaks true to his orientation was even after having served three decades in the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, when he was called upon and given a second chance of service, he grabbed it, regardless of what we said and say, Peanuts, you know, you've done that, let's it. He grabbed it, so he actually lived a life of service. At the age of 21, Corporal Dennis Peanuts DDA joined the Royal St. Lucia Police Force in 1982 after completing the grueling training regimen in Barbados. He was deployed to Grenada in 1983 as part of Operation Fury, the multinational intervention led by the U.S. to restore order in the Spice Isle following the failed revolution. DDA served in many capacities, departments, and was assigned to a number of postings throughout his many years in the police department. Joachim de Plessy, HDS News Force.